Kep Kep. Little Little Kep Kep. Little Little Kep Kep on Little Little Jep Jep. Josh joined us today. Hi. For, uh... It, we had breakfast, and breakfast was coffee. Yeah, I mean, that's... Honestly, I, I don't know that I've... Since we've lived here, I don't know that I've eaten anything. I, well, I probably have at least once. <laughs> Haven't eaten anything ever since we've lived here. The whole time. I, for bre- I, like at the old place, I had I usually ate breakfast on breakfast stream, and since we've lived here, I've mostly just had coffee. But that's fine. It's totally fine. So Josh, uh, Josh joined us for breakfast stream this morning, uh, and you are so Brandon left, Dan left, and today Josh is leaving. But. Um, I'm glad you were able to join us this morning. And then also, uh, I hope that you have a safe drive today. Yeah, I hope so, too. (laughs) (laughs) It would be weird if you didn't hope that. But yeah, uh, yeah, I I hope that it goes well for you. It's been really good seeing you guys for a bit. and uh, But now I must continue on my my journey into the void. Yeah, and you're you you've been doing good with that, and yeah. you're still doing that, and you're doing good still at it. Yeah, yeah. Especially now that I have a little cap cap here, because it does make me feel real good. Yeah, so. he does that. He's very good at that. So I will. I've started my day on a good note. Coffee yeah. and cap. Aw, I think that there is no finer way to start your day than a coffee and a cap. Yeah, I think that's that's a pretty good way of doing it. Yeah. Aw, he's sweet. So sweet. Before Josh headed out, we wanted to grab a quick bite to eat, and we went to Smithfields, which we've only been to like twice, and I've only ever had barbecue, and Josh wanted to get a chicken tender sandwich, so that's what I got too. I haven't tried it yet. Is it good? It's good. Is it I've good? I've eaten half of it already. Okay. So, if that gives you an idea. I guess, yeah, yeah, a little bit. Yeah, they're, they're, the Smithfields are everywhere, and actually when we got in the car, I typed into the maps, I was like, Smithfields. But, like, it wanted to take us to Smithfield, North Carolina. <laughs> <laughs> so I had to type in the entirety of Smithfields with an S before it was like, oh, oh, you want to, like, eat at the restaurant. Oh, okay, sure. Yeah, we can do that. <laughs> it's later. Uh, Josh made it uh, to his destination successfully, which is good. And uh, this evening, and this is actually unbeknownst to me, Thomas is streaming the DLC for Resident Evil 7. I didn't know he was doing it. Um, he actually texted me and was like, hey, I'm starting now if you want to watch. And I was like, oh, okay. Um, so we're just having a, we're having a snack. We actually ate dinner a bit ago and we're having a little snack of, uh, of the microwave buns because we still have some of those so we're gonna enjoy just a little snack it's it's weird though because at this point all of our friends have now has now left except alex and Haley, who live here and i am going to struggle with that fact for a long time that is just a very weird 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 feeling and I equated it to when I moved into college and it felt like a sleepover for like a month. Yeah. I mean, even past that, it still kind of felt like a sleepover. Yeah. So I am just, I mean, I'm over the moon about it. I really am. I'm very excited, but also it's just really weird. (laughs) It's really weird to be like, oh, we're just, we're just hanging out. Case in point, Alex and Haley were actually here earlier, not long. We didn't do anything. They actually came after dinner, and I didn't film anything because we didn't, we didn't do anything. We, we just sat on the couch. They, they're really exhausted. We sat on the couch for like 90 minutes and chatted, and then they took some of their stuff that they've stored, and they left. And it was such a normal experience, even though we struggled conceptually with the idea that they weren't driving all the way back to Alabama, and they would still be around. And that's just great. That's great. So... I look forward to when we next see Brandon and Dan and Josh because it was great to spend time with them. But it is wonderful to know that Alex and Haley are not very far away and we can just see them anytime we want. Yeah. And it's going to be really exciting for some of our friends who don't live in the area, like Thomas, 
because when Thomas comes to visit, inevitably, uh, we will be here, and Alex and Haley will be here, and soon Brandon will be here. Seems good. All right. Were they not done? Uh, I They're... got to the center of mine, and it was a little cold. Oh. That's where I was. Well, Let's... a little more time certainly doesn't hurt. Oh, now it's so hot that I don't think I can touch it. It's a hot. Oh, it's hot. Is yours not hot like that? It's warm. Oh, mine's so hot it's hard to touch. Oh, I know what I want to say as a final thing for today. Y'all see that over there? That is something new that we just got. Um, we typically have a lot of blankets on the, the couch. And we got a little basket thing to put all the... There's, that thing is loaded up with blankets. So if people come over, or if it's just us, because we're also blanket people... Depending on the temperature, uh, we can just like cuddle on the couch with blankets. And that's nice. We have this one that we kind of keep on here because we like to keep a blanket on the couch. Because sometimes Kep will just autonomously come up here and just sit down and, and, and lay Kep's here. Blanket, really. Yeah, it's really Kep's. But it's nice to have some other stuff I just for, for us or for guests or whatever. So And, you know, even though it's hard to think about it because right now it is still like a jillion degrees outside. Um, it is falling and we are getting into fall, so it'll get a little cooler. It'll be blanket weather soon. Okay, I'm done. Thank you so much for watching. I'm excited about the future. Mm -hmm. I'm really excited about the future. And your eye is looking, your eyes looking pretty good. A little bruised, yep. You got a little bruised, but mm -hmm. it's, it's, it's going all right. It'll get better. Yeah. All right, something's gonna scare me here in a second, and I'm not okay with that. Oh, but I'm okay with it, Thomas. That's why I got you, that's why I got you on my TV. Let's meet back tomorrow, shall we?